we just, you know, we just try to do something and just spread love and inspire and impact as much as we can, you know. I just want to bring some feel good vibes into this world and represent our Asian American community and also moms or parents in general. We started recording we found topics that we felt were relevant for that week or for that month or whatever it may be. And we just went with it. Honestly, sometimes we will literally get on the recording time and be like, what are we talking about today? And we will just feel it out and yeah. push out whatever it is, the flavor of the week that we're like, this has been really bothering me as a mom, as a woman, as a parent, or you know, whatever it may be. Ready? Hello and welcome to Ajima Squad. Today, Joanne and I wanted to talk about all the amazing activities we can do with our, our, our friends. This person has a dark side. Ooh. I'm a little emo. I am a little bit more the grumpier one that's like I'm a little negativo compared to you. You're like, bring on the positive. It's a lovely day. So did you know that Gwen Stefani got married while you were sick? Do I care? Her dress was pretty, though. I will admit that. Yeah. But let's be real. If any of us had that much money, we'd be looking youthful, too, okay? This person is always right. I think that's me. I'm kind of like a know-it-all sometimes. I'm self-aware of it. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Sorry, this is my crazy cat. Sorry, I just watch it. it. I can keep from cracking up. Don't be fooled by this mofo i love it yeah close um, your eyes and go to sleep i can't stand you oh <laughs> this person is completely shocked by every fact you tell them you yeah. all the way mm. how did you feel growing up like having a very ethnic korean name how did you feel i hated it when i was a kid my oh. my korean name is Teva, and it's already a hard to say korean name as it is mm -hmm. I officially changed it uh, as an adult, like when I was in my late 20s. I see. I legally changed it and I switched my first name to my middle name. So Tewa being my middle name. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I lost a little bit of identity when I did that because no one referred to me as that anymore mm -hmm. except my family. <laughs> what are we looking? <laughs> what are we like? Um, this person does it because it's cool me we're making a real no we're not yes we are put your seatbelt on this person buys happy meal for toy only you know that could be me because i'll be like oh we need right now they're giving me, like raya and the last dragon toys and i'm all like we got a sisu we need to get a the crystals i was gonna ask <laughs> They have that new dragon movie out too on Netflix. I forgot the magic dragon or something like that. We watched it. The wish dragon. Wish dragon. How was yeah. that? It was cute. Oh, really? It was really cute. Yeah. My kid, it's kind of like it, it, Gabby was like the first 10 minutes in. She was like, this is like Aladdin. So we watched Spirited Away, Kiki's Delivery Service, Totoro, Panyo. Like we watched all of the anime movies. Luca. We watched Rio 2. We watched, girl, I don't know. We watched so much. All we could do was watch movies. I bet the girls enjoyed <laughs> torturing you all this time. I ordered a, uh, not a slime kit, but I ordered like all the slime ingredients on Amazon. Oh, wow. That's the only activity right now that keeps them in one place and quiet. It doesn't get everywhere. I hate, I hate slime. No, hate they were actually slime. really clean about it. Legit. I went against my own code. Like the rule up until now was don't make it. Don't bring it in the house. Don't let mommy see it. If you get it on your clothes, you're going to get it. Mm. That's the only thing that's keeping, keeping them going. For every human needs at least five hugs a day to be healthy or something like that. You know, like this, I had a long weekend away from my kids and just got home this evening. And I walked in the door and Alexis just like clung onto me and her embrace was just like, it was a little like choke, half choking, but also half just like, like 
her legs were wrapped around my waist, like her arms were around me. And it was just this, like, I really missed you, you know, and it feels yeah. so good. No matter how bad things are for most of us in this first world country, there's always at least five simple things that we should be grateful for, right? But, oh, a gesture of kindness from a stranger. This is a huge one for me. There's been multiple times where I've been in Starbucks or I've been through the drive through of Starbucks and the person in front of me paid for my order. Yeah. And, you know, that transfer of energy is big too, right? So yeah. it's like you want to be around people. Yeah. Who are like bouncing I that did. energy off of yes. each other. And that'll just like kind of keep it going. So when you pay for somebody behind you in Starbucks and it like, you know, sometimes it'll go on for the whole day. That. Like mm-hmm. that's transferring energy. Like, and we yeah. have to do more of that. And so advice is probably just, just don't give up. You know, it's all going to, it's going to get bigger. It's going to yeah. pay off all your work. So, yeah. And you know that, have you seen that ab workout from the Chinese lady on TikTok and all over the place right now? No. You've never seen it? Uh-uh. Okay, I'm going to show you. I could totally see you doing that. She looks sweaty. She looks so scary. I I get I get really uncomfortable when it gets really quiet, and I always have to fill in that empty space. Really? Yeah, that like gets weird. I'm so, not gonna miss breaking out where the mask is. Oh, the whole quarantine, my whole entire face down here. I was like, "What's up, Anna?" Like, is it the is it a money thing? Like. Do you, does she think that you need to go out and make money or is it that she just thinks that you're not doing enough in your life? Cause I think raising three kids and being home with them and homeschooling them still is a full-time job. Those little rewards that we just get from life uh, over the, over the simplest things and that pride that you have over whatever it is. Like my daughter, she'll, one day just come in and she'll say, hey, dad, I'm going to start painting, right? And she she's just, she's just, she loves abstract art. She's doing all this stuff. She's like, are you done with that? Yeah, who's it for you? Okay, thank you so much, right? <laughs> it just, that, and it, she's great. I mean, she she's, whatever she's learned in school, she just kind of, she, she brings it out and she's brought home some really great things. Um, I was never good at abstract art. I mean, I didn't know what abstract meant when I was a kid. Um, but she really does bring home uh, some amazing stuff. I met a wonderful woman. She actually got me this mug. Um, and unfortunately, just the hard part about all of it is that I felt like it took away a lot of my time with my own kids oh, because wow. it's just me, right? And so whatever spare time I have goes to them. And then it's not fair to the partner. And I will tell you, Five years in of really bad dating, one will stick and it will be good. Because I'm at a point where I, I am with somebody who is makes everything just easy. It, when it works, it feels really nice. I mean, my children adore him. They actually wanted to stay with him instead of me after the weekend. They were like, can we stay? And he can drop us. I was like, no, you got to go home with me. this is the other thing so I usually kept my distance radius within like 10 to 15 miles because I was like I'm not commuting to date somebody I'm not traveling I travel enough as it is for some reason I think one night I must have been like oh I'm all out and like must have extended that radius (laughs) the first date we had it took him two and a half hours to get to me for dinner there's actually a thing called cave syndrome it's basically you can't get back and function like normal people yeah it's totally true (laughs) so awkward at work i say the weirdest things and i'm like why did i say that (laughs) what are your plans for the summer i don't know (laughs) your house i'll drop them off in the morning on my way to work and pick them up on my way home joanne day camp joanne's day camp (laughs) Oh, so much stuff. I don't even know. I know. It's just, uh, but it's vacation, volunteer, teach them cooking, teach them. I I don't have time to teach them nothing. 
Are we recording? Is this recording? Oh, okay. It is recording. Um, yeah, but you kind of have like all summer to like just wing it too, right? Like you don't have to have things lined up, do you? I think that pretty much sums up our show today. So we thank you for watching. Oh, wait. So you you look so serious. Oh, sorry. That sums up our show today. <laughs> so we thank you for watching. I, just, I mean, the ultimate goal is eventually. I don't know what our ultimate Make some goal money. Is. Every time we get one new subscriber on YouTube, we literally go, yes. yes. How many more? Nine I'm going to be honest with you, James, like you asked what the goal is with this whole thing. It's really, you know, when you reached out to us and you were like, I can relate to this or when we have somebody text us or message us and be like, I feel you, or this is fire. Or, Thank you for posting this or really that to me, that, that is why we're doing it. Like, I don't see any other Asian, I hate to say it, but Ajumas, we are Ajumas. I literally, there's a Korean kid in my community who came up to me and was like, do I call you emo or Ajuma? I was like, just call me emo, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, call me emo. Just call me emo. It's okay. And she was like, what's your, I was like, no, no, emo's fine. <laughs> Creating a community where we all kind of understand each other and just putting out content where we resonate with other people. I think that's really the end goal. I mean, if we can monetize on this, amazing. I can't even imagine us monetizing a whole ton, even if we do. But, you know, at the end of it all, it just feels good. And we we actually yeah. really enjoy doing this. Like we weekly, do. we get to have a catch up session and talking session, which we don't get normally. You know, it's it's fun for us. But it also has an end. It has a goal. It, it's a nice goal. Um, as always, we love your company. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. That was a weird bye. Bye. You want me to do, I'll do a countdown. Three, two, one. Good night, love. Love you. Bye. 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 Okay. And that's a wrap. That was really okay. good.